What is going on, everybody? It's y'all main man, D Millie. Y'all know we back with a classic food review. So, um, I am one of those people that could be a lot, a lot. I am one of those people that could sometimes be late to things. And apparently, there's a Chicago staple called Johnny's Italian Beef in, uh, in Elmwood Park. And apparently, it's one of those OGs of the Italian beef that, like, they mastered it. Like, they wanted the best in Chicago. When people talk about some of the best Italian beefs in Chicago, this is usually in a lot of people's top three the top two list so uh, the fact that i'm late and i'm in a time beef kind of sue i worked at patillo's and i gotta hop on this your boy gotta hop on this we finna go in here we finna see what they food hidden like and see if it's worth the hype man because uh your boy love me the time beef. So come along with me come kick it let's vibe let's have some fun if you're new here hit that like button comment and subscribe and uh let's go in here let's have some good food in our mouth so I just entered and let me tell y'all right now, the smell in here is crazy. All right, so we back in the whip. The aroma in there is crazy. The aroma in my car is crazy. Your boy is excited as hell. Um, so let me tell y'all what we got. We got a hot dog and fries. We got a tamale that is like a Tom Tom tamale. It's not your true authentic Hispanic tamales that you are accustomed to. We got an Italian beef, sweet and hot, wet dip, extra drippy, extra wet. As always, that's how you always get your Italian beefs. Then we got an Italian sausage, same way, sweet and hot, extra dipped, wet, juicy, melt in your mouth type bread, melt in your mouth type meat. That's what we about to get into. And we got a big, big Italian ice because it's hot as hell, it's 91 degrees outside. So let me show y'all what we got into. All right, so visually, as you can see, I got the hot dog with everything. We always get everything on the glizzy. A nice little mustard relish, onion, pickle, and uh, that's it. That's all they put on this. A little french fry combo to come with it. Let's dive into this, man. This shit looking vicious and it smell crazy. Let's see what it's hitting on. French fries. Good old, nice little classic. Frozen french fries, they all right. They ain't nothing crazy. We here for the glizzy though. Let's see what it's hitting on. Toast to anybody out there, man. Let's hit it. Mmm. Very fresh ingredients. The bun is nice and soft and steamed perfectly. The hot dog is flavorful. It ain't got that snap that you would love from a Chicago style hot dog, but it is still extremely good. The flavor is down. It's nice and juicy. This shit, this is a good hot dog. It's just missing that snap. Maybe they just ain't got the hot dogs. They got that nice little casing on it, that snap when you bite into it. But other than that, this one will get a solid eight for me. Good hot dog. This is something a lot of people in Chicago do. They take their fries and they throw it on the hot dog. And you gotta hit that shit like that. Mm. Oh man. This right here is phenomenal. I'm definitely about to finish this glizzy. This glizzy going down, baby. This hot dog is going down. Now, we got the Tom Tom tamales. Let me show anybody out there who's never visually seen a Tom Tom tamale what I'm working with right here. Uh, this is right here is typically what they looking like. It looked like a bunch of dough with a bunch of meat in it. Um, they honestly, they hit or miss everywhere depending on where you go. Sometimes they solid, sometimes they not. We finna see what it's hitting on, man. Let's dive in, baby. Nice saw, steamed. Probably been steaming all morning. Mmm. Hey, this shit would be amazing in a bowl of chili right now. Oh my god. These are good. They nice. They nice, soft, flavorful. Sometimes when people make these, they could be they could taste freezer burnt. These taste fresh as hell. These are good. 
But Tom Tom Tamale standards, these don't get us all a nine. It's hard to even think of anything I can do to elevate it. Yeah. Solid nine on the Tom Tom Tamales. When I'm eating these, all I'm thinking about is just putting them in a nice bowl of chili, mixing that shit up with that cheese and onions. Boy, hold on. They get me a little too excited out here. Let's get into one of the main reasons why we're here. They apparently supposed to have some of the best Italian sausages out there. And uh I had I couldn't come here and not get it. And uh, they do not skimp you in the jardinier and the sweet peppers, bro. Let me show y'all what it's looking like right here. Let me show y'all how much they don't skip you in the peppers. All right, look at this visually. You are not getting this pepper, this amount of peppers at a Bona or a Patillo's or anything like that that's a Chicago known restaurant. So the fact that they're keeping this small in house and not going corporate, phenomenal job. Because those big corporations gonna skimp you. Now let's hit that IS. Mm. That's a very potent sausage with a nice amount of heat, nice amount of flavor. Oh, it's so much heat right now, but it's so damn good. This shit, that's hidden, bro. Look at me. I'm sweating right now because of how good this is and because of how spicy it is. But it's a good it's a good spice. For me at least. Actually low key it might not be. I would I don't think I would be able to finish this. Woo, this shit hot. Because man, I'm definitely finishing this. I'm sorry. That Italian sauce is so damn good. It has that right amount of flavor in that heat, bro. And then that bread that's dipped in that beef gravy. It's all hugging it together and giving it that nice amount of flavor, bro. This is one of the best Italian sausages I've had. This one get a solid nine for me, bro. Yeah. This Italian sausage is better than Pertillo's. Woo! I'm hot. We got something to cool us off, though. We got some Italian ice. I'm sorry. I got a slurp on it real quick. I need something nice and cool that can just calm me off real quick. Not calm me off, cool me off. Holy shit. Oh my God. That is so perfect. Pop is like the worst thing to drink when you eating hot stuff. That right there, it's literally perfect, bro. Cause your boy need one more bite before we get into the Italian beef. Man. I can't believe I've been sleeping on Johnny's this long, man. Giants has been open since like the early 2000s. This is my first time trying it. I've been born since 96. And I just now decided to pull up and try it. Man. Your boy been tweaking. Now, let's get into the main reason we here, man. We want to see if this Italian beef is really worth the hype, bro. Because if one thing I know for sure, that Italian sausage is a hit. That must mean that this Italian beef is a hit. Let me show everybody out there who might not know what Italian beef is, what we working with right now. All right, so same type of thing. Got the sweet and hot peppers, no cheese, just a lot of meat, and that bread that's dipped in that au jus that's nice, wet, and moist. Let's dive, let's dive into this, man. As y'all can see visually, those peppers are kind of kicking my ass. Like, I got a, like a, like a permanent sweat just coming down right now 
Shit is kind of crazy. But let's see what Johnny's hitting on. Let me sit up. I feel like I've been a little scrouched down. Let me sit up a little bit. Johnny's. Hey, toast to anybody out there that's watching this video. Toast to you. I hope you're having a blessed day. Let's hit this shit. Hold the fuck on. That roast beef has some of the most pungent, flavorful taste that I've ever had from an Italian beef. Holy shit. This au jus tastes amazing. These peppers complement it so well. That bread is, look at it. It's so soft and so flimsy because it's dipped perfectly. Hold on. When you, when you bite into this, the bread just... Y'all see that zero resistance? With zero resistance when you put it in your mouth, man. Just fall apart. I probably could just do it with my lips. This is crazy. That aju has this nice pungent oregano, like Italian flavor in it, man. This shit is crazy. You can see all the herbs on the bread. Let me show y'all. Y'all see all those herbs from the aju? That's all that oregano and rosemary that's in there, bro. You are getting such a nice aromatic flavor from this gravy and it's blowing me away right now. Oh! <clears throat> Woo! This right here is phenomenal. And I normally love cheese on my Italian beef. I'm not missing the cheese. This is hidden without cheese, bro. This is crazy. I love cheese on my Italian beef, but right now, it don't need it. I could not eat a Portillo's beef without cheese. I could not eat a Bona beef beef without cheese. This right here gonna get a solid 9.5 for me, bro. This Italian beef is phenomenal, bro. This is good. If I'm ever in the Elmwood Park area, bro, this shit is a, a must stop by. I've really been sleeping on this my whole life. My taste buds are disappointed in me. They wonder why I've been robbing them for so long of some great flavorful beef. There's nothing better than a good, flavorful, wet, dipped Italian beef, I promise you. I know my people in Philly gonna feel a little slighted. And Italian beef is better than a Philly, man. I'm sorry. When it's done properly, ain't shit fucking with an Italian beef, I'm sorry. Especially when you talk about Johnny's. Now we gotta go on a quest to find the best Italian beef in Chicago. Now. Now I'm locked in. We gotta find out who got the best. We have to find out who has the best Italian beef in Chicago. And I'm gonna be the one to tell you. We going to all the spots. I'm gonna find them. I promise you, we gonna find out who has the best Italian beef in Chicago. Cause this, right now, this is number one for me. We gonna wait to get a full list. We putting Johnny's at one right now. Portillo's can go two. The boner could go three. And now we're going to work down the list. Let's get it, baby.